What's up guys, Russ Lyman here and Red Bull asked me to build the most intimidating fight stick for Tekken Legend Anakin. Now I'm hoping my skills and ideas for this fight stick help Anakin strike fear into the hearts of his opponents, securing many victories. But let's hear what the legend himself has to say. What's up Russ, Anakin here. As a pro Tekken 7 player, I've always looked to gain any kind of advantage, any kind of edge that I could over my opponents at tournaments. And sometimes, you know, just having the skill and talent alone might not be enough to get me there. And lately, I've been thinking, you know, I've been wondering, what if I had a fight stick so terrifying that it could intimidate my opponents into just giving me the win right then and there, right? Something so crazy like that. And you are one of the three stick builders that I've challenged to create a fight stick to scare the living hell pretty much out of anyone that sits next to me, whether they're first time tournament goer or 20 year tournament fighting game veteran, it doesn't matter. And once I get all three sticks, I'll decide which one I'll choose to carry with me to tournaments as my weapon of doom, you know, something to strike fear into my opponent's heart. So, you know, best of luck and uh, let's see what kind of crazy that you can come up with. <laughs> Excellent, Anakin. I am certainly up for the challenge, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research to get some inspiration on the design and what I want to build for that fight stick. Something I thought of was to have some hands coming out of the box, almost like a Pandora's box, the evil, trying to escape the fight stick. I think that could be a cool concept. So when I think of fight stick, you know, you think of a box. Most fight sticks are in a rectangular format, and I had this idea of almost like a Pandora's box, something that contained a lot of like evil or something inside that you didn't want to escape. That certainly is intimidating. But how can I incorporate that into a fight stick? What details can I put into it? Well, we're gonna sketch up some plans and start working on this fight stick. But come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of a story I once heard. Long ago, in a time that has since been forgotten, there were two brothers that were in the court of the king. One a sorcerer, and one a warrior. Juan was the king's right-hand man and always sought out ways to help with winning battles more efficiently. He had come into possession of some scrolls that made mention of a box that could control humans to do one's will, but at the price of capturing their soul. His brother Nang was against creating this device, but he proceeded anyway. Driven by his thirst for pleasing his king, Quan finished the creation of the box and wielded it in battles. No enemy was a match for the Soul Stealer, <laughs> leaving no one to stand in his way. Their empire grew and grew with each battle won, but so did his thirst for conquering more. The more souls the box obtained, the more powerful he became, eventually taking the soul of the king, leading him to take control of the empire. It seemed like nothing could stand in Quan's way in world domination. Everyone's souls would inevitably be taken. Nang had never seen his brother like this before, and could no longer watch him go down this path. He sought out a way to stop him and the soul stealer. Since the box could not be destroyed, he had to find a way to contain it. Wrapping the box in the chains of Bao in the lock of Kim Lee, he could only hope that this would contain the evil within. The only thing left to do was to trap his own brother's soul within the box, so he could no longer do any harm. Once casting his brother's soul into the box and sealing it away, never to be opened or used again, Nang's job was complete. Or so he thought. Centuries had passed, and tales of the box stretched far and wide, and those seeked out how to recreate it, so they too could obtain the power it held. But all failed. That is, until now. So here we go. There's the final plans for the fight stick. I got a front view, top view, and the side view. I'm going to incorporate some hands coming out of the box. And of course, you want to keep things trapped in there. So I'm going to be adding chains. And of course, we're going to have to find an awesome lock right here. Something massive and unique 
that definitely needs to stand out and keep everything contained inside. Now, watching Anakin play, he favors a Jack 7 character in Tekken, and he has a lot of green elements to him. So I'm thinking of maybe using green buttons and maybe having some green highlights, LEDs that maybe glow. So it kind of goes back to the character that he uses. Well, one thing that I found out that Anakin was Vietnamese and I wanted to add some of his language into the fight stick where it doesn't stand out like English on it, kind of gives it more of that antique vibe on it. So we added some words on the side here that mean warrior. And I figured on the other side, I can put fight because that has to do with like fighting games, right? And then on the front, of course, you got to have it say, do not open. <laughs> you want to keep this thing shut. And then I was thinking, what can I have on the face of the box, the top of the box right up here? Something that, you know, maybe Anakin could look down and it would mean something to him. So I'm gonna ponder on that and we'll get back to that on what I chose. Well, now it's time to assemble the box and I'm just using some wood glue and nails to get the structure of the box together. Now I'm going to be using power tools building this box. I don't have access to a table saw or CNC machine, unfortunately. But I think with the aesthetics of the box and what I'm going for, it's gonna work just fine. And then we start adding the decorative trim around the box. This really gives it a little bit more depth and makes it stand out a little bit more. Once that was all set, it was time to drill the holes for the buttons and the joystick. I used a little template with some spray glue right on the box so I knew where to drill the holes so I wouldn't mess up. Okay, so we have the box a little bit put together. I got some chains on there. Now the next big step is I want to sculpt some hands coming out of the box. The soles trying to escape. So we're gonna be marking off some spots where the hands will be breaking out. Now I did go ahead and make one already just to get my hands wet. No pun intended. But this is what we came up with right here. It's tin foil and a little bit of this armature wire. And I kind of want it creeping up the back just like that. We're gonna be adding some clay to it. So it just has that wire frame and you can bend this to any which way you want because of the armature wire inside there. And you can manipulate the fingers just how you want it. So I think it's gonna work perfectly once we lay clay over this to give it some more definition. It was certainly coming together quickly. I assembled with the buttons and the joystick just to get an idea of what the box could look like. Now I'm going to be adding a callback to Anakin's heritage into the box. I'm gonna be wood burning some Vietnamese into the box, a few sayings, warrior, fight, do not open. And then for the top portion of the box, I'm gonna be adding an inspirational quote. I chose the saying, always have hope. This way Anakin can look down at that and remember to push forward and secure a victory against his opponent. Once that was all in, I brought the box outside and we're gonna be adding some damage. This box is old and ancient, so it has to look the part. So we grabbed our chains, which are our handles, and I just started hitting the box. You wanna add nicks and dings all around the box so it looks weathered. It was pretty fun too. But once that was out of the way, I needed to age the chains. They look too new. I just got them from the hardware store and they got to look old and ancient. So I used a little bit of science and mixed some chemicals together to kind of speed up the rusting and aging process. And these things came out awesome. Now they fit with the theme. Okay, it's been a little bit and I have the front hand right here is now hardened with the clay and everything. And I got the top part off of the fight stick right there but we had some complications in getting the hand off and ended up cracking right there, unfortunately. When you're working with the clay and you're pushing it on an object, it sticks to it very well early on. So right now this hand, very stuck on there. Now this hand, I'm gonna have to do some repairs because putting it on here like that, it's just gonna break off. So I added some new clay to the hand and clamped it in place. This way it can harden overnight and be good as new. With the box back together, it was now time to add some wood stain to the box. So I took it outside and used a chip brush and a paper towel to put the stain on. I was finally ready to put all the pieces back to the box together 
and then we can fully paint the box. We're going to be weathering it, the whole box as itself, so it looks uniform. We have the hands coming out, the chains on the box, and everything has to tie together. I just went in with a lot of dark colors, brushing on the trim to show off some highlights and the dings that we put on the box so they really stand out. And then the hands itself, I kind of want to look almost like zombie hands because the soul's been trapped in the box for thousands of years. They're not going to look flesh toned. And this thing was coming together. It was looking awesome. I took it out to the paint booth. We added some clear coat on it to seal everything in. And now we're ready to put the buttons back in the joystick and wire this baby up. This is definitely one of the challenging moments of the box build. I'm not great with wiring stuff. <laughs> I have the board and all the pieces go into it. Once that I was out of the way, then I can wire up the LEDs in the buttons itself. And then I bought a strip of green LEDs so the inside of the box can glow green. But again, I ran into an issue of how to light this up with the board, I just can't figure it out. So I'm gonna be putting in a battery source so you can turn it on without the stick being plugged in. All right guys, there it is. Let's see the final completion of the Soul Stealer Most Intimidating Fight Stick. And again, it was a great time building this stick. I had so much fun using my imagination and incorporating things that I think you would like in this fight stick. Hopefully it's up to your specs, you enjoy it, and it strikes fear into your opponents. Now I just gotta ship this bad boy out to you. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had a good time learning how to tackle this project, overcoming some obstacles, and the end result, I think it turned out pretty awesome. If you guys wanna check out Red Bull's full video with the other two builders, there'll be a link in the description down below. Or if you guys are into DIY projects, I have a full playlist of many things that I've made on the channel. Custom consoles, controllers, figures, and much, much more. So consider subscribing, because I put out videos weekly. And as always, gamers, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Kelly Moore, David Apuzo, Maynard, Joe Shivi, Techwiz X, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ian Oshi, Ganaman, Rock Solid Productions, Turbo Jesse, and everyone on my Patreon. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.